You about to solve some math equation? I've been feeling like shit, man. Like, I don't feel terrible. I just, I, I can't tell if it's just because I've been eating more vegetables lately. Wait, why would you feel like shit for eating more veggies? Right? Cause like, I'm a high <laughs> energy, I'm a high energy person. I can't just be eating one fucking salad a day. Like, just before like uh, I had got on, I was uh, I was in some duty, man. So, fucking, I had smoked these foods, man. It, it, it was like I started off late in the game. It was like down like 55, 38. It, it later on in the game, it was only me and one other person, bro. I fucking went off, fucking. I went ham. I was talking mad shit after this too. You don't have to take it too serious on just boxing, anything. You can take it anywhere. Like this fucking guy over here was just playing Gears of War. Gears of War. Now look, it's Call of Duty. Right? Oh, oh shit! Call of Duty and it's, Gears of War. Two different things. Married man, I haven't played Gears of War for a while, and Call of Duty, I suck at. <laughs> See, you, you can tell I'm not a game. I, I fucked up already. Called it. <laughs> All right, Scratch out the seal. You're now tuned into the Twin Checkers. What's good, y'all? I'm Walt Vaughn Dane. That's my brother, Mr. Get That Work. We the Twin Checkers, and we here with Sunday's National Qualifying Champion. Yes, Bro. Sir. Castillo, what's good, bro? What's going on, guys? Chilling, so chilling, man. man. So that tournament that just happened, I'm not gonna lie, man. As soon as I walked in the door, your fight was on. So you set the tone for the night for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, definitely, man. And not only that, you're a shorter guy. You remind me of me back when I was working out. We, we were about, you're what, 125? Uh, 132 right now. 132, yeah, that, I was around the 125, 130 range when I was in the gym, man, dog. Um, we almost have the same build, and you in there with the taller, lankier fighter, man, and you was in his chest. Yeah, I have to be, man. I actually just came down from 141, and I, again, to this day, I haven't had an opponent where it's my height, so every fight I have, it's got to be the inside, got to stay on the chest, can't mm. be on the outside, you know? It right. showed, man, that, that pit bull <laughs> style, you know, your fighting style. Who who do you actually like in boxing? In boxing? You know, believe it or not, man, like the boxers, I like the kind of boxing I like. It's usually the taller guys. I like the fighting from the outside, sticking with the jab, man. It's the completely opposite of what I can do. Right. <laughs> you guys familiar with Larry Barnes? Yeah, he was... um. I, I think welterweight fighter. He's he's had that same style. He's got like a Tyson type style. You know, he gets he gets in, uses his head movements, uses a lot of hooks, a lot of right hands to get in, and then he gets busy on the inside. And from my first fight, you know, he helped kind of get me in that pace. You know, along with all my other coaches, but really helped me form in that style. Right. Oh, so this is an old fighter or active fighter that's training. Um, uh, old fighter okay. coming out of Mount Vernon. Oh, he uh he had a fight with Felix Trinidad too. Yeah, former champion. Good yeah, video. My, my memory is so trash. I used to be an encyclopedia of boxing. Right now, yeah. I don't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> Word. I only can I not remember shit. I fuck everyone's name up. So, yeah. Oh, man, I'm horrible too. Nah, he's nah. like, my man over here is like the boxing version of Charles Barkley. But, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right though, you know, you know, we, we love you, Hawk. but um, all right, so you have like your style though, your, is your style more like a, a Tyson style or what, what would you like in your style to? Um, well, I, since I always had people taller than me and I was a little guy, I guess you could say a little bit like a Tyson style. I try to box a little bit when I can, if I got someone my height, normally that's in sparring, but like mm. pretty much, yeah, like I got a little weaving style trying to get inside use those hooks to come forward and always cut the distance and just like you guys said stay on the chest and work body okay. uh, for you, yeah for, for the tournament that you ended up winning the novice division right yeah so at this point you i think we spoke you told me that that win now puts you in the open division right yeah at, you know at the time when we spoke i did think that so 
on Saturday, I had the semifinals and my opponent didn't show up. So I got a walkover. I learned that that doesn't count as part of my record. So I still got one more, unfortunately, to get to that open class, which I'm looking to take soon in September. Okay. Weird though, because you're supposed to be doing the ring, the ring tournament coming up, right? Yeah, I'd like to. I think we got the Metros coming up in uh, in October, which I'd like to do that. So I'd like to get that one fight out the way before that, so I can open up in that fight as open. But yeah. So I hope that takes place, man. You know, it's a different level. What are you expecting from the levels to change from open to novice? What are you kind of expecting? Uh, I'm expecting a lot more boxing, you know, a lot more chess. I, I notice that when I see these guys in open, they they box a little bit. I see these guys staying at the range. They're a lot, they're a lot more familiar with the range. So I'm expecting a box more, which is what I want out of boxing. This is that's the fight that I'd like. I think it's a lot more engaging, a lot more tricky, and I love it. Who got you into boxing? What, did you just fall in love with it? Is something that you've seen? What was it for you? Uh, believe it or not, I first got into kickboxing. So I was an MMA fan, right? But I never competed in that. That's what I started doing is boxing. I took a year off, right? I was very overweight. And someone then, someone, uh, my my trainer that I have now saw me kind of jump rope and he's like, have you ever fought? He's like, I'm like, no, you know, then he kind of introduced me to boxing and I kind of fell in love with it. You know, I, and I just took off from there. But I always just, I always liked watching fighting. I always liked fighters. I respected their lifestyle. I always liked what they had to prove, but I always pretty much the mindset of trying to be the best. That's, and I feel like boxing is the perfect platform for that and where you can express that. So, or, and of course, try to earn that, you know? Right. And I like that goal. So nice. you brought up MMA real quick. Yeah, I was just- Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was, I just got asked now, would you ever think about migrating over? Mm, after, a very successful boxing career, I can always see it, man. Still got love for the sport. Mm. Boxing's always like my favorite thing, you know. Boxing stole me away from there, but you know, never say never, right? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, you know, uh, we have a fight, a exhibition, or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but we have Woodley and we got Jake coming up. Now, you we being do. a guy who's experienced in both, I gotta ask you, how do you think this goes? You know, I've been, in all the fights, I've been calling Jake Paul. I've, like, the Ben Askren one, I called that knockout as well. Because, mm. Jake, it's, as, I'm not a Jake Paul fan. I personally don't really like the guy. But, right. the but the man is in the gym all the time. And he's training with the best trainers. He's got the best sparring partners just because, you know, he has the fame to do so. You know, all he has to do is really ask. Like me personally, if I want to like, let's say spar with like Errol Spence Jr., I can't, I, I can't ask for that. <laughs> but you know, he yeah. can, he's got the fame. So, and Tyron Willie's a very good fighter, like, and he ha has a lot of knockout power. So he will be Jake's hardest opponent. But I do, I do see Jake getting the edge in that. I do. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I thought, so, I thought oh, the oh. same thing. I thought the same thing, Dame over here, I'm gonna let you go. Go ahead. Ex explain this. Yo, yeah. Ralph, you my man and all, but you I'm going Tyron Woodley. Yeah. Knockout. Knockout. Late round I knockout. You, late round stoppage. I tell you this, if Tyron Woodley wins, it is a knockout. I'm going Jake Paul decision. I'm going, I'm, I think it goes to the set. I don't think he's gonna knock Woodley out. Woodley's a tough guy. But um, I do I see Jake Paul winning. Okay. Okay. Uh, a couple of months back, and I want to ask you one more. A couple of months back, we had uh, a special fight where the Chavez family fought. On that card, it was Chavez Jr. against Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva beat him, which is still crazy to me. Uh, what do you think, you know, is next for his boxing career? I know you can't really speak on that, but would you want to see him continue boxing or you think he should just leave on that note? Because he looked good I in there. You know, I always thought that Silva should just be done, right? And I was happy when I saw him retire from MMA, but man, you're right. Like, he did. I didn't get to see the whole fight. I saw clips after. I saw a little bit, uh, some videos, but he did look good, man. He did look good. I can't mm. deny I want to see another fight. <laughs> just one, hey, maybe just one more now. I got, I got to see him go again. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I was watching the, the promo between Vitor Belfort and, um, and De La Hoya, they're supposed to have a match coming up too. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a, a exhibition. It's a real fight. 
And Vitor Belfort came up and said, like, yo, I was a boxer before. Ask Anderson Silva. I used to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yo, so I, I do, I love Anderson Silva. He's probably my favorite fighter at MMA all time. But I think they got to be selectable on who they put him in there. You know? Yeah. Match up with, um, with Junior. I mean, I, I agree. I agree. What's, with you. what's coming up next? Like, what, what's the very next thing you have? happening right now so people can know and you know follow and you know let us know what's, what's going on with you man um you know i'm i'm a guy that likes to take any fight that's in front of me you know i don't want to slow down for anything i i got all the ambition in the world i want to accomplish these goals i got so any fight in front of me i'm gonna take i'm looking for my next fight uh to compete in a show you know like i said metros are in october so i'd like to get in a couple shows before then get some mm -hmm. more experience in um, yeah, so I, I was I signed up for some fights that are in this month. There's some shows at Gleason's, but I guess the cards got full, so I couldn't get in. But September, hopefully, we get another show. I get into that open class. Maybe another show before October, if possible. If not, definitely the Metros in October, for sure. Okay, okay. A quick, uh, quick question before you get out of here, Rob. We do a little segment on here, man. We did Mayweather versus Thomas Hearns, a dream fight. So any era, dead or alive, active whenever you want, what is your dream fight? Dream fight? You know, that's a big question, man. And especially me getting into like the boxing scene after the MMA scene, I still got much to catch up on. I'll tell you a fight that I would be interested in just well, because be everyone MMA talks too, about right? it. Oh, it can yeah. be MMA too. Yeah. Whew. That is a hard one. How about this? Um, I'd like to see, I'd like to see a prime Anderson Silva. And I'm gonna say a prime John Jones, just cause a prime John Jones can cut down a middleweight or a prime Silva can go up to light heavyweight. Um, and I'd like to see them fight. That's Those a good fight. Greatest fighters <laughs> in MMA all time. Yeah, all man. Time. Yeah. I mean, can't disappoint. That's a great fight. Wow. Well, we appreciate yeah. you, Ralph, for stopping by, brother. We hope you all end up getting that fight so you can compete in the open tournament. Yes, yes, sir. As soon as, I appreciate as, soon as you it. do, keep in touch and send us any info and updates. Always, guys. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. This was fun. Thanks, no man. Doubt, Thanks man. for your time, Thanks. man. Anytime. All right. Later, guys.